So in this particular video, we'll be sharing various fixes to a problem that has recently surfaced in which users are not able to use their headphones while playing audio through iTunes. And this problem has been seen in various Windows versions, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. Interestingly, this problem is only with the iTunes as users who have reported this issue are able to draw audio from their headphones in other apps like YouTube and in various games. So it's important to understand that this problem is only linked to iTunes and in this video we'll be going through various possible fixes to that. So grab your popcorns and let's get started. So now we'll be going through four possible fixes to this particular problem. The first problem being that the default audio of your computer is not set to Windows audio session. And then secondly, another possible reason for this is that you might have your headphones connected properly, but your headphones are not set as a default playback device in your Windows settings. So heading over to Windows sound settings and setting your headphones as default playback device could resolve this issue. So another culprit of this possible problem could be corrupted files in your iTunes folder. So what you could do is you could simply reinstall your iTunes app and this should resolve the issue. Then lastly, a very common problem that we often see in various Windows installation is bad driver installations. So if on your Windows system, your sound driver and your USB controller driver are not properly installed, that could be a possible culprit of this problem as this has been resolved by various uh, users who have been facing this issue and they reinstalled these two drivers and the issue got resolved on their part. So now that you have an overview of all of these possible fixes, let's go through each of them and see how could they resolve the possible problem. The first quick fix of this problem is by plugging your headphones into your PC before launching your iTunes app. So as much as it sounds funny, it has actually worked out for a lot of uh, users. So you could simply plug in your headphones before launching an iTunes app and it should work for both the desktop app and the universal Windows platform. Do note that this is a quick fix and you might not remember plugging the headphones every time you launch iTunes. So if you want a permanent solution to this, you can move on to the next method. So a possible permanent fix could be changing your default audio to direct sound in your iTunes playback preferences as shared earlier. So this procedure has been quite beneficial for many users on Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 who have been able to resolve this issue on both the desktop and the universal Windows platform app. So simply open your iTunes and head over to edit and then preferences menu. And once you are in the preferences menu, you can go to playback preferences and uh, on the playback tab. So then look for the play audio using option and switch that to direct audio like this. So once done, simply save this and just give a quick restart to your iTunes app and this should resolve the issue. So once the iTunes app is relaunched, you can plug in your headphones and launch a song to see if it works out or not. And most probably this should resolve your issue. So let's suppose if this method doesn't work at all too, so you can move on to the next one, which is by changing the default playback device on your computer. So the third method involves changing the default playback device on your computer. And this could be because the headphones are not set as the default device inside the sound settings. So what we'll do is that simply press Windows key plus R and this would open this run dialog on your computer. Simply type in mmsys.cpl and then press enter to open a sound settings dialog. So once you are in the sound setting dialog, simply right click on the headphones and choose that as set as default device. Now simply restart your iTunes and the problem should be fixed. But still, if this issue persists, you can move on to the fourth method that is to reinstall the iTunes app, which would fix various corrupted files that could be placed in your iTunes app folder. So to reinstall the iTunes app, we have two different uh, installing methodologies that would depend upon the iTunes version you are using. So if you are using the desktop version of the iTunes, you can keep watching or if you are using the universal Windows platform, you can uh, move on to this particular time step and jump over to that reinstalling procedure. So now let's get started with the reinstalling procedure of the desktop version of iTunes. So to start with, you can press the Windows key together with R 
and that would open this run dialog. Simply enter app wiz.cpl and press enter and that would open up the programs and features window. So once you are inside the programs and features screen, you can simply search for iTunes and then right click that and press uninstall. Make sure that you uninstall everything that is complemented to Apple software like Apple mobile device support, Apple application support and Apple software update because it's quite possible that though all those linked softwares could be causing the issue as well. So simply go ahead and uninstall those two. So once all the Apple related applications are uninstalled, uh, go ahead and restart your computer. So once your computer is restarted, you can go to this particular link. So this would take you to the download link from where you can download it for your Windows computer. Scroll down and download the 64-bit version. So once the download is complete, simply click the installation file. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation process. So once the installation process has been completed, simply restart your computer and this problem should have been resolved. Now moving on to uninstalling the Universal Windows Platform version of the iTunes app. Press Windows key along with R. Now this time you have to enter ms-settings colon apps features like this and press enter and that would open up apps and features tab of the settings app like this. So once you are here simply search for iTunes and click advanced options like this. So once you are in the advanced option simply click the reset button like this and if it prompts you again for the reset simply click it again and proceed. So once the reset process is done, it would reinstall and revert back your iTunes to its default settings. So if any settings has been messed up, uh, that would be resolved. But uh, just note that it won't affect your download media and playlist. So you don't need to worry about that. So after this resetting process, this particular problem should have been resolved. It's quite possible that all of these previously shared methodologies might not have resolved this issue for you. So you can move on to the method 5. So in this particular method, we'll be reinstalling the sound driver and the USB controller driver. And the reason for that is that it's quite often that these drivers are not properly installed or they are corrupted. Press Windows key along with R just like before and enter dev mgmt.msc and press enter. That would open up the device manager for you. So once you are in the device manager, simply look for sound, video and game controller drop down menu and look for high definition audio devices. Right click on that, click uninstall device. So once the audio drivers are uninstalled, we will uh, then go ahead and uninstall the universal serial bus controllers. But if you use your headphones through the audio jack, so then this doesn't uh, really serve the purpose. So once all of these drivers are uninstalled like that, simply restart your computer. And once the windows is installed once again, it would identify all of these missing drivers and it would install it automatically. So guys, I hope all of these methods would have resolved the issue for you. But still, if the issue persists, you can use the re-image repair tool. Uh, the link is in the description of the video and that would repair all the corrupted and missing files on your computer like, like in various repositories. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Best of luck and I'll see you in the next one. And guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe to this channel. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.